Hi, my name is Stacey Ann. And today we're going to talk about privacy. Privacy. That is what we're talking about today. Privacy. So, what exactly is privacy, Zurichin? The right to be alone. Privacy means the right to be alone. And you have many spaces where you have the right to be alone. And what are those spaces, Zurichin? Quick, quick, quick. Can we get it? Where can you be alone? When you're pooping. In the bathroom. When, when you're peeing in the bathroom. And when you're taking a bath. Absolutely. And so if you're taking a bath and I say, Zuri, can I come in? And you say, no. No means? No. No means no. So if you say no, what do I have to do? Go. You have to go outside because the bathroom is your private space when you are using it. Also, if you have a special book, a journal that you write down all of your secrets, all of your inside feelings, and you write them in your journal, can somebody read that without your permission? No! No! Privacy means the right to be alone. The right to be alone with your yes thoughts. Yes means yes. Yes means yes. No means no. No means no. And so you have the right to write in your little book and no one should read it. And you have the right to use the bathroom and no one should come in. Just like in our house. We I have... can do anything my way. Not all the time, but about your body and about your special things. You have the right to be my alone. My forehead, my eyes, my tongue, my mouth, my hair. No one can touch those without your permission. My head, Absolutely. My arms, what about our home? Legs. What about our home? No one can come in to 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 any can to anyone decide. Tell me again. Who to does... me decide. So the people who live in that home get to decide who can come into that home, right? Yep. Because it's about privacy. Your body is also private. There are lots of places in your body that only you can have access to. Right? So, yep. So when you're in the bathroom, when you're in your own home, when you've written down your private thoughts, your body, all of those things are private. And you have the right to decide who touches those things, who enters your home, who reads your book. You were about to say? Mm -hmm. What were you going to say? You forgot? Mm -mm. So is privacy a good thing? No. Hmm. Well, you... The, the, it, how do I say this? Having privacy is a good thing. And if someone pushes by and gets into your private space without permission, that's no good. But privacy itself is a good thing. If no one gets out when you say no, you must call for help. Absolutely. That is an amazing thing to say. If someone violates your privacy if you say no about something and they still push by and do what they want to do then you call for help that's an excellent way to end this zuri chin so privacy 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 can you tell them privacy means the Price, right the right to be alone absolutely thumbs up for privacy thumbs up for privacy Thumbs down when people don't respect your privacy. Thumbs up for privacy. Living, yep. <laughs> long living room protest. Thank you for being with us. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.